getting ridiculous. What are we gonna name this little munchkin? What about Jacqueline? Jacqueline? Uh, I don't know where she had that name from. I don't know. I just looked at her and the name popped in my head. I thought it was perfect. You don't like it? It kind of reminds me of Spinelli. I, I fail to see what Dante and Lulu's daughter has to do with me. That's just it, Damien. That little girl isn't Dante and Lulu's daughter. She's yours. I'm, I'm sorry, what? She's yours. That baby's yours. Mine. No, she isn't. Yes, she is. That little girl in there is your daughter. Yours and Maxie's. Oh, God. Where's Maxie? Is my daughter going to be all right? Jacqueline reminds you of Spinelli? Yeah, but that was... That was his nickname. The Jackal, that, that, that he had oh, his logo for his PI firm. Right, right. I don't know. No, I do. I think we'd pass on that name, because I don't want to think of Spinelli every time I look at my daughter. <laughs> Ellie, I, I realize that I've, I've been... I've been too focused on Maxie. Filling in for Dante at childbirth class, sitting vigil at her labor. Yes, I, 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 I overstepped, and, and you're right to point that out, but I'm not delusional. I don't, I don't think that adorable little child is mine. Damien, please, just listen to me. I'm not speaking metaphorically about this child being yours. I'm talking empirically, scientifically, biologically. Maxie lost Dante and Lulu's baby. And the baby that she's been carrying this entire time is yours. But that's not possible. Yes, it is possible. Don't you remember what happened on New Year's Eve? I mean, you had intercourse with Maxie. And she conceived your baby. Your daughter will recover. Thank God. What happened? What happened? We were told Maxie had a routine C-section. And the baby's been in NICU for over an hour. Are you saying... Max has been in OR all this time? I'm sorry that no one was able to come out here and brief you, but it was all hands on deck. Your daughter hemorrhaged. We almost lost her. But she'll be all right. You just said she'd recover. Oh, yeah, we were able to stabilize Maxie and stop the bleeding. Your daughter's one hell of a fighter. You said the same thing. Thank God you're right. Out of blood, but she'll be okay. When can we see her? Uh, they'll be taking her down to recovery in a few minutes. You can see her there. They've sedated her, so she'll be groggy. Well, as long as she's all right, that's all that matters. What, what Maxie did for her friends, carrying that baby for them, was truly heroic. You have an amazing daughter. Thank you. Yeah. If she's amazing. It's because of you. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Come on, let's go see our girl. Okay. Yes, on, on New Year's Eve, Maxie and I, we... We're together. But you told me yourself that she conspired with Dr. Westport, that they implanted a second of Dante and Lulu's embryo so that Maxie would not have to tell them that they lost the first. I know what I told you. And that was Maxie's plan, but when she approached Dr. Westbourne, they discovered that Maxie was already pregnant with your baby. So no, and no implantation then? Because she... Oh my God. That's my daughter. That little, that little bundle I had in my arms was mine. 
Comprehension. I, I, I don't understand what. Why didn't Maxie tell me? She was determined for you never to know. She didn't tell a soul. The only people who were in on the secret were herself and and Doctor Westbourne. And apparently you. I was wrong, Damien. But I. I just, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong and Maxie was keeping a secret. I was afraid that, that there was something wrong with the baby. So, I investigated. And I tricked you into helping me hack into Maxie's medical records. That's when I discovered that Maxie miscarried. And I, I confronted her about it, but of course she denied it. So I, I threatened to go to the lab and check Dante and Lulu's remaining embryos, and that's when she confessed that you were the father. You told me it was Dante and Lulu's baby. I lied. Why? Why would you lie to me? We love Spinelli, but we don't want Daddy thinking of him every time he looks at you. No. <laughs> Let's get to know this little angel a little bit better. We'll come up with the right name. I know a name that won't work. Georgie. So proud of you. You came through with flying colors. Mm -hmm. well, where's Georgie? What do you mean, honey? I was with her. Georgie was here. What are we gonna name you, little miss? Maxie wanted us to call you Georgie after her sister, but we told her that she should save that name for her own little girl. Still, I'm sure that Georgie sounds familiar. I know that Maxie's been calling you that for the last few weeks. You're worried she was getting a little too attached to her? I was worried about a lot of things, from the size of our apartment to what baby clothes we should buy. I was especially worried about Maxie's pregnancy heels that were only three and a half inches high. This is her idea of sensible. And while I know that you were too sweet, and supportive to call me out on it. We both know that I bring new meaning to the words control freak when it comes to her. I think you're just being a conscientious mother. If you felt that Maxie was getting too attached to her, then that's probably what was happening. Do you think that's gonna be a problem going forward? Sweetheart, there was a problem with the delivery you had a C-section and then you hemorrhaged. You fought hard. You fought hard, but you came back to us. <laughs> but Georgie, she she showed me. Maxie, Maxie, they gave you a lot of painkillers, okay? You might be a little confused for a while. No, no, it's okay. I remember. I I came back for my baby. Where is she? Well, where is my baby? Could you not tell me that Maxie was carrying my child? Damien, I wanted to so bad. But Maxie begged me not to say anything. She was ashamed that she lost the first baby and she was so afraid of disappointing Dante and Lulu. They were so invested in the baby. She told me they'd be devastated and I believed her. So I collaborated with Maxie to keep it a secret. Ellie, you barely know them. And I'm supposed to be the person you love. Why would you not tell me that I had a child? I'm sorry! Stop apologizing and just give me, give me a reason that I can understand. What? 
how, how could you not tell me? How could you deny me my own child? How could you keep something so momentous, so life-changing for the person that you say you love? Because I was afraid of losing you. I'm not really sure where Maxie is on her attachment to our little miss, but I'm thinking that now that she's not carrying the baby, she's letting go. I hope so. I know, Maxie. She'll be fine. Where is my little girl? She's with Lulu and Dante, and she's absolutely perfect. Maxie did an amazing job carrying the baby for them, but right, you've lost a lot of blood and you're confused. No, I, I remember, I saw her. She's beautiful. Everyone says that she's beautiful and wonderful and you've been an amazing surrogate. But Maxie, the baby belongs to Dante and Lulu. No, no, she doesn't. She's mine. Where is she? Sweetheart, I know how hard this has been, carrying her all these months, all the pain that you suffered, but that little girl is Lulu and Dante's biological child. They created her, and you did an incredible job. But the baby doesn't belong to you. They're her parents. No, she is mine, and I want her. Okay, Maxie, you need to calm down, please. N no, I, I want my baby. I'm calling the doctor. That's a good idea. Sweetheart, please calm down. No, you're not listening to me. She is mine. My baby, mine and Spinelli's. You were afraid of losing me? So you lied to me about my own child? Damien, you were in love with Maxie for years. And when she finally decided that she loved you too, if you hadn't been with me, you'd have gone back to her. I mean, you slept with her when you thought that I broke up with you. I thought you forgave me. I did forgive you. I didn't forget. And then I told you that I didn't want children and we argued bitterly. So when Maxie revealed that you were the father of her child, I couldn't help but wonder how long it would take before you left me for her and, and for your child. That's why you told me you'd reconsider having a family. <laughs> you told me you were willing to have a baby because you loved me. But that wasn't at all, was it? It was because of your guilt. Because you were allowing Dante and Lulu to take my child and raise it as their own. Damien, I wanted to tell you. But you didn't, did you? I don't uh, think I've ever been happier. Me neither. Oh my God, Ellie! How could you do this to me? I, I, don't, I feel like I don't even know who you are. No, don't say that. Don't I know touch me. Hey, what the hell's going on out here? What are you doing? No. No, where is my baby? The sedative should take effect in a moment. She needs her rest. No, I want my baby. She's mine. And Spinelli is her father. We can hear yelling inside the room. What, what, the baby's sleeping. I'm so sorry. So what's the problem? What on earth are you two fighting about? We were fighting about the baby. Age. Hospital. Oh, AJ. AJ. There's something you're not telling us? How do I deliberately smash their heart into a thousand pieces? I know! He's a match. What are the odds? I am the kid's grandfather. I think my cousin's in terrible trouble. You gotta just hold on. 